Hello, this is You Mind Me Craft, and today I'm going to be doing a port forwarding tutorial for Minecraft server. Now, I've done uh, multiple port forwarding videos in the past, and they've been very successful. And today I just received my new uh, Sky Router. And if you're wondering what the router looks like, to make sure it's the right one, let me just get a picture. Uh, it looks like that one. It's the new square one they just brought out recently. So I have that one now. And I thought, let's do a tutorial on it. So first of all, we want to create a folder which will store all our information from Minecraft server in. So I'm just going to call it server. And then I'm going to go on the internet and go on minecraft.net. Now on here, if you click on the download it here set button now we can do the download page now here we can get the minecraft server 1.7.4 jar now this tutorial will work with any version of minecraft um, the latest one currently like i said is 1.7.4 but if you get another jar which you can get um, server jars from various different locations they're quite easy to get just search for them then you can get them for different versions if you wish but they will always be the latest one on here. So if you click on that, it'll start downloading. I have one that I've already downloaded over here to save me the time of downloading. So just open that and put it in your folder. Now for a moment, that's as much we need to do with the folder. Now we're gonna do some cool commands and messing around with the router. So if you hold the Windows key down on your keyboard and then we press the R key, you'll open up this section, or you can do a search on your computer for run, and it'll come up with um, the run application. Inside you type CMD, click OK. Here you type ipconfig, just, just exactly how it's spelled by there, and then we press enter. Um, now we'll scroll all the way to the top and find the top section. So there's loads of different sections down here. So this, so that's a section, that's a different one. So all the way to the top, find the top section. And now there's two numbers we need to remember from this section. Mm -hmm. So that's my phone. Um, the first one we need to look at is the default gateway. So we go to our browser again, and we type the default gateway uh, address in here. It's 192.168.0.1. And that's normally the same for every Sky Router. So then on this page, we need to go to maintain, uh, security, sorry, then services. And we want to add a service in here. So let's get rid of this one. Um, error, thanks Sky. Um, basically you click on this button and it'll bring up this interface. At the top, we type Minecraft. Select this to, U, uh, to TCP slash UDP. Set the start port to 25565, finish port to 25565, and then click Apply. Oh, thanks, guy, my up. Um, but yeah, if you click that, then it'll set it. I think it's messing up because I just I only just created it. So click add and give it the options. Set the name to Minecraft. It doesn't actually matter what it's called. You can change the name if you wish. Um, that's just a reference name. So, two five, so that's a Minecraft 25565 to 25565 and UTP slash UDP. So we go on the firewall rules. Let's see if this actually works. Let me to remove this at the moment. Yeah, so then it'll the page will look like this before you've configured anything. So it'll look exactly the same. On the outbound services, we click Add. Then we change this, scroll all the way down, select Minecraft or whatever you named it as. So let's make sure this is allow always. That's any, and that's any. Um, log doesn't really matter, but I'm going to leave that on never. Then you click Apply again. Then we go to the inbound services section. Click Add, scroll all the way down, um, set that to Allow Always. Then here, 
this is why we needed the um, IPv4 address. So make sure you're on the top section again, like I said, then find the IPv4 address section. So ours is 192.168.0.4. So then we write this in here, 192.168.0.4. Make sure that's set to any, and this is, doesn't matter, but I need on never. And we click apply again. We scroll to the bottom, click apply, so it globally applies everything, make sure everything's set. Then we go on the support page, and click on useful links. I'm gonna click on route IP address. And this, if we scroll to the bottom of this, we're gonna get a test connections button. So we click on here and we have the little handy window popped up. So for now, I'm gonna close the main page and just keep up this help, handy little window we have here. So let's go back to our server folder that I put over here. And we go into run the dot jar. And I'll take a little while to just load and it'll come up with a window saying it's preparing the world and preparing everything for you. So once that's completely loaded, just type stop or close it down manually by clicking the top button. And then go back to your folder. You'll notice all these files have been produced. Now the jar has treated those for you so you can interact with and change different stuff. So the only file we're going to be concerned with is a server.properties. Now this may be called server or maybe called server.properties. It depends what um, Windows Explorer settings you have. So it may be server or maybe server.properties. Either one is exactly the same folder. So you double click on that and then you'd be given this massive list of different settings you can change and do stuff with. Um, the only one we're concerned with is the server port and the server IP. Now the server port by default is 25565 and if you remember back then we set the service on our sky settings 25565. If you wish to have more than one server on your computer then you'll have to have this as 25566 but you'll also have to make sure that you add another service in your sky settings allow the port 25566 so it's 25565 at the moment and I'll leave it as that as long as this is the same as the one we did in the settings earlier then you'll have no problems but for if you don't want to go into advanced settings just leave it as 25565 so on the server IP section this is where we also type in the IPv4 address so we go 192.168.0.4 so this needs to be exactly the same as we used uh, as the IPv4 address. It needs to be exactly the same one used as the settings we did on the Sky website. So after that's set, we're gonna go click on save and close. And we'll run it again. So I've made this a little wider. It'll say starting Minecraft on 192.168.4 uh, semicolon 25565. So this is the IP and this is the port. So if I open up my Minecraft, wait for it to load. Now I'm gonna set it as the same version to the server. So this version 1.7.4. Once I'm on here then, we go multiplayer, and I'm going to add server. Video server. Now the IP address, this is why we need a little handy um, Sky pop out. If we copy this one, the IP address from Sky, this is the IP people are needing to join. So as you can see, it's loaded. If we just get up this up on the side, let's make my Minecraft a little bit smaller, go to cluttered here. Um, well, we won't be needing this anymore. I'll close that down. 
So if I try and join, it'll register me joining. It will say logged in entity at local coordinates and it'll have my player on there. So remember, the IP address you get from the handy pop-out is the one you give people to connect. The IPv4 you get from the command prompt is the one you use for the server. So sky players, command prompt for you, your server. So I can hand this out to all my friends and they can join as they wish. Now for people who are being more advanced, if you change the port, then you have to add the port address on the IP. As I said, by default, uh, Minecraft is 25565. But if you have it 25566, then you have to add it to your IP. But defaultly, when you connect, it'll automatically add the 25565 to your um, server. So it'll add it for you. So if you're going, if you're being basic, then you don't have to worry about semicolons after your IP addresses. So that's how to set up a basic Minecraft server. Now anyone can play on this. It has um, sixty players by default. No, it's not sixty. Um, well, it has whatever default amount of players you can change on the configs, and I can do whatever I want on here. Um, if you want to set up a bucket server, then go on my channel click on the link to my channel below then search my videos for bucket or server there's many different tutorials i have for setting up servers and setting up plugins i also have lots of tutorials for on there so you can set up pretty much anything server based you want based off my tutorials if you have any questions then please ask um if you go on my um channel i believe i have a link to uh, uh, information on my skype uh, an email should be on there if you want to contact me any questions at all um, if you are having really bad problems and you can't set up at all then just contact me and I'll help as much as I can to fix it Th though may I add that some sky packages won't actually allow you to port forward but the majority of them do so thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe and share I hope this tutorial helped out uh, and I hope that it works fine for you. So thank you and goodbye.